every object you see around you has a maximum speed that they can go. This fundamental statement is true when you consider even Earth itself an object to the tiniest atomic object. But different objects in different masses and sizes are carrying various speeds. MiG-31 military fighter jet for example seems like the fastest object ever exists. But there are much other lighter objects that we can't see but significantly faster than any object that we can see. Neutron, proton and electrons for example far more fast than the vehicle that I mentioned earlier. The speed for a light particle is even much faster than the all other objects that I mentioned before. Apparently even this speed is not the fastest speed currently known to humanity, the tachyon. What even is a tachyon? To put it simply, a tachyon is a particle that can travel faster than the speed of light. According to a theory you know, how can a particle even be able to go faster than the speed of light? If something crosses that speed however, the time for that particular object should go back in time. And yes, Einstein said that it is impossible, but something is missing aside in his theory. His theory is only valid when an object tries to pass the speed of light starting at any given speed below the speed of light. For example, you can push your car to get somewhat speed, but there's a limit you can do. By the way, if you push your bike instead, you will race much higher speed. So the speed you go is highly dependent on the mass it has. It makes a sense a photon should contain much less amount of mass to be the winner in speed. Literally, no mass at all. But what it takes a tachyon to go faster than the speed of light then? The answer is negative mass. What negative mass is basically a negative amount of weight. The gravitational pull for negative mass affects the exact opposite way as the normal mass does. When you apply some force to negative mass in one direction, it accelerates backward. Existence of negative mass experimentally confirmed last year. 2017, University of Washington announced that they experimentally confirmed the existence of negative mass. Regular mass gets faster when you apply more energy while the negative mass slows down. Not only that, these things are open a possibility to the existence of number paradoxes. For example, let's say your friend has a ball made out of tachyon and he throw it at you. Since the tachyon ball goes back in time because faster than the speed of light, would you might get to catch the ball before he throw it at you? Paradox. We simply can't solve this problem. Then a new idea came out to solve this kind of unsolvable problem. The multiverse theory. What you basically do is put a bomb inside a box with a cat. The cat should be alive somehow the bomb didn't go off. Or on the other hand he should be dead. So you can't say that the cat is alive or not until you open the box and see it. This phenomena opens a possibility to have two different outcomes in two different universes. But only one of those outcomes exist per each. But in terms of a tachyon, you are going to end up with a new outcome where you catch the ball in the past. Even though this kind of particle will open up a gate to new technologies. To name few those would be warp field drive will carry a spaceship human on board into another Earth-like planet when the sun is doomed. High speed communication will available across two galaxies, basically huge amount of distance. We might even have new power solutions to the things that we are suffering with. So I guess everything wrapped up the way how you wanted. In the meantime though, you can give my video a like if you learned something from my video. That could help me to buy a new camera to film with. So I can make videos on even experiments for you guys to see on. Currently I'm not having any profit from my YouTube channel because having no subscribers to pay for. So I really admire if you subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, go for to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.